Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today we are going to configure a wireless network and for that uh, we are uh, going to set up a wireless router and three PCs and here we will go to devices, network devices, um, then we will select wireless uh, devices. Under the wireless devices we are going to select this uh, wireless router and this is WRT300N router and similarly we are going to add uh, three PCs and we are going to connect those three pieces wirelessly uh, to uh, this router so let's add three PCs this is our PC1 the second PC and finally our third PC so after that we are going to double click uh, our router and do some settings in that router. Uh, so after double clicking it we are going to uh, go to the GUI tab here and in the GUI tab we are first going to uh, check uh, as you can see that the IP address given here is 192.168.0.1. This is the IP address of our uh, wireless router and we are going to disable DHCP here because I am going to give static IP addresses and at the bottom we are going to save settings. Do remember to save settings every time you make any change after that uh, we are going to go to wireless and in wireless um, all the settings would be same uh, i'll just change the ne network name to my home network and the remaining settings that would uh, remain the same and the standard channel and all other options and we are going to go to the bottom and uh, going to save these settings save settings and then uh, finally we are going to enable security in wireless security we are going to select a security mode and that would be WEP web this is a security protocol and we are going to give it a security key uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, 7 and then we are going to save it again at the bottom save settings uh, but here it is giving us the error. Uh, we have to increase the number of digits for the security code. So we are giving, going to give the key 01234567789. Finally, we are going to save these settings and we are all done with our wireless router. Uh, so after that, we are going to close this router and we are going to uh, give our PCs uh, static IP addresses. Double click the PC. Uh, then in desktop go to IP configuration. I'm going to give it an IP address of 192.168.0.5 And then we are going to give default gateway 192.168.0.1 This is the IP address of our wireless router because we want to connect our PC with that router So we are going to give this IP address of our wireless router. Similarly, we are going to the next PC desktop IP configuration will give it IP address of 192.168.0.6 then similarly the same default gateway of our wireless router finally our third PC desktop IP configuration 192.168.0.7 here we are going to give uh, the IP address to our third and last PC and the default gateway of our wireless router so uh, we are again going to double click and we are going to go to PC wireless here the interface of wireless is missing on the PC so we are going back to the physical tab of this PC and we are going to turn off uh, the PC by clicking this red button then we are going to go to the bottom and we don't have any place to add a new interface so we will delete this by uh, dragging it back selecting WMP300N and dragging it to the place where we deleted the previous interface so we are going to again turn on our PC then we are going to go to the desktop in desktop PC wireless here but it's not connected to the access point we are now going to go to the connect tab and we are going to click wireless mode and here you are going to click connect and you have go to give the key WEP um, web key 1 which was from 0 to 9 so we are going to give the key and then we are going to click connect and uh, in the link information when we click back here you can see we have successfully connected to our access point similarly for the next PC PC number 2 we are simply going to double click it and we are, we are going to go physical connection uh, first PC wireless it does not have the required interface we are going to turn it off we are going to drag back this interface that is already there 
to delete it or remove it then click WMP 300N and uh, place it where we had our previous interface so carefully drag and drop it then turn it on and now go to desktop PC wireless no connection connect wireless mode we are going to give our key that was from 0 to 9 the web key 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 connect similarly and go to link information now we have successfully connected finally our third and last PC similarly we are going to connect it we are going to add the interface by going to the physical tab and uh, again this WMP 300 interface would be added to enable um, wireless uh, networking let's go to desktop again PC wireless the same steps connect and uh, giving it the correct key that we configured for our wireless um, LAN uh, for the router, the wireless router. We are going to connect it and link information and it is now connected and you can already see these wireless connection among these PCs. We are going to go to the first PC now and ping any other PC in the network to check uh, for the connectivity whether our PCs are connected together or not. Go to first PC command prompt then we are going to ping any of the PCs ping 192.168.0.6 uh, we are going to press enter you can see we are receiving reply. We can also uh, ping our router which was 0.1 and you can see that we are receiving the reply from the router as well by connecting them wirelessly. So in today's lab we have learned how to configure a wireless network uh, and we have configured three PC with the wireless router and I hope this video was uh, helpful for you. If you like the content do like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Until then, 